Okay, I had someone ask about this uh, large metal robot here. I'll have to move in closer. I guess, and to give you more of an idea of the scale... Oops! You guys are moving all over the place. I don't think my head will even be in there. I can't really get back far enough. Let's see. So basically... See my head's clear up here. Hi! So you can see it's a fairly large all metal display. It came with that uh, little lunch tray that you see there. And basically that's where I keep the uh, guest book, which of course doesn't get used anymore. But uh, originally I was told that these were built as a store display for this wind-up robot. When this Neutron Robot Man first came out, and this is the one that's sold by Schilling. And it says, uh, 1998 Schilling. And I'm sure they were sold without the Schilling box and name, because they were made in China. So that was something that you would see in the shops. You know, Hong Kong, China, all those kind of places. And that little tray was actually part of it. And I bought it from a, a toy dealer that actually imports stuff from overseas, and he got a few of them in. This is a real uh, crude, all welded up thing, and crude paint job, but I liked it. I thought it was pretty cool. See, fairly well detailed to the toy. And... Not that I need guest books anymore, because we just don't do that anymore. That's the second one. This would have been the, the first one. The first entry in here is in the year 2000. So, in 2000, I started having guests, and used to have lots of guests back then. And, uh, last year I had, uh, I guess the last person I had is listed here. 2021. So, no guests this year. There actually have been a few people... Uh, friends and stuff like that that have come through, but no new random guests. It's just too uh, too difficult the way things are. So that's the story of the uh, large tin metal robot. Somebody wanted to know what the deal was with it. Well, that's the deal. It was a store display uh, for the Neutron Robot Man.